Uh, we are back again and uh, I will tell you more about other elements in the refrigerant loop. We have uh, the chiller and fans. Uh, so th these are the condenser air fan. Uh, when the mm, pressure is increased here and uh, the, mm, the air is e exchanged uh, temperature with the refrigerant, the refrigerant will be evaporated and the pressure will be increased. So uh, based on the char characteristic of refrigerant gas, uh, we need to use uh, these air fans, condenser air fan to reduce the pressure. So the set point for pressure is 9 if uh, uh, in the startup we have more uh, uh, refrigerant pressure. Then we have the more refrigerant pressure based on this simple control. We compare that to the set point when the pressure is more than set point and the dead band or half a dead band in each 20 second we increase the capacity and uh, increasing capacity means that we will have more um, condenser air fans so we need to wait until reaching to the, the maximum number of air fans one in the fan a the other in fan b uh, it's very similar to compressors you know you can enable disable and if we reach to the uh, set point minus the dead band or the half of dead band like eight if we eight seven you know, this uh, pressure values the capacity will uh, decrease uh, let us wait until reach to the maximum uh, capacity in air uh, condenser air fans So we are in the full capacity and the pressure should be uh, decreased like uh, 10 and like set point is 9 like 8.4 and we wait this is the first point we are uh, set point minus half of dead band 
the capacity of the air, air condensers will will uh, decrease and the fans will be shut down one by one and uh, that's all uh, while testing the air condensers I can also I'll tell you more about the air coolers when the temperature of the uh, oil is reaching to a danger zone uh, we have air cooler A and if the trouble in temperature is existing after a timer air cooler B is also active conditions of running air coolers uh, is independent to the running of the mm, chillers after a time here uh, we will have the oil cooler B active so let me put the mm, pressure on 9 and the capacity will be freezed here or frozen here and uh, when we have the coolers I decrease the temperature to 60 and the first air cooler A after timer air cooler B will shut down and what we have next uh, these are the elements uh, that uh, I will explain them in the program uh, this is also the operation of these uh, solenoids and valves are uh, heavily in interwoven with the chillers so let me show you how uh, the air cooler B is shut down so uh, the final part will be testing the uh, testing the uh, heater in order to function test the heater we should shut down we should shut down the uh, the whole system we should shut down the chillers and put the set point uh, or possibly disable the whole channel um, like uh, and disable the uh, chillers the chillers will not be not running even the temperature is mm, above the limit so here I can function this the chill uh, the heater if the temperature is increasing decreasing like 20 and uh, we will have uh, uh, so um, in order to have the uh, heaters we need to uh, ensure that uh, the amount of oil is enough in the uh, this uh, oil separator if the oil is not oil is not enough uh, the, the heaters these two heater one and heater two they, are, they will not operate so let me uh, return to uh, higher values and uh, heaters are getting uh, de-energized uh, this is the uh, next part and uh, the final part will be focused on the uh, water separation and after explanation of these elements I will move to the uh, the logic explanation I stopped here and we move to the next step.